Hello, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about today um, is how to set up a Facebook event. Uh, we are getting ready to launch new products and I have suggested to all of you that you set up a Facebook launch party for your customers. So I wanted to make sure you all know how to do that. So there's two parts. Um, the first part we're gonna go through is how to set it up in your virtual office and then we'll walk over to Facebook and set it up there. So the first thing you do is you're going to log into your virtual office, which you go to perfectlyposh.com backslash VO. And if you're not already logged in, it's going to ask you to type in your login credentials. Then you will go to where it says events and down to create event. Um, now, once this pulls up, you're going to say that you're creating a new event and you want to name your event um, something about Uncon. Whatever you put here is the same thing you're going to put in um, Facebook. So for me, for my customers, I'm going to do live from Atlanta. Posh launch fall winter 2015. You could do posh launch fall winter 2015. You can still do live from Atlanta. Even if you're not going to be there, you're going to be getting the information live from me. So you can still title your thing, your event the same way. Um, just come up with something catchy. You don't want it to just say Posh Party. Um, you want people to be intrigued. So then in your description, um, I usually copy and paste from a past event that I've gotten here. So um, you just want to put in... Um, you know, descriptive information. So join us live as we launch 50 new products for our fall winter line. Be sure to check out the event on Facebook starting July 23rd. Um, I'll probably go back and add more information and I can and post that on the um, team training page for you. Um, you are going to be your hostess, so you want to make sure your name is here as well as your email address, your shipping address. Um, make sure that that is all filled in. And then I always leave this blank because I don't want my internet or I don't want my address blasted on the internet. Make sure you put in a date. So we're gonna start it on the 23rd um, at seven and whatever you wanna end it. I'm gonna leave mine for a week. So I will put 07-30-2015. That gives me, um, come on, sorry. That gives me a full week to get everything entered as far as sales that gives them time to shop that gives them time to ask questions um, gives you time to learn about these new products so um, and it's still right before the end of the month the last day of the month is the 31st so it gives you one more day to wrap everything up get payments finalized and all of that good stuff so it doesn't like something I put in with the time oh this right here there we go all right, then you come down here, you wanna make sure this says public, event status is open, and you click save. And hopefully it likes everything that I did. All right, so you can see here, I'm the only cart in the party under manage carts, just me, nothing in there, but it is going ahead and putting that shipping cost. Now that will fluctuate as your party goes up, um, and if you have people shipped to you, etc. But for now, that's it. So you wanna click on view event, and right up here at the very top, this is the URL that you're going to copy and paste into your Facebook event. You can also put on your Facebook event um, just your website, poshmikhaili.com backslash products. And then make sure you tell them at checkout, make sure you select the live from Atlanta party. Or you can simply copy and paste this link right here. So... Uh, when you go over to Facebook, what you're going to do is you're going to go to the events page, which I'm already on, but let me show you what it looks like from your homepage. 
Um, so you go right here where it says events and click on that. And then you're going to click right here where it says create. And you're going to put in the same exact thing, mine autofills, that you put on your virtual office. And then what I usually do here is copy and paste. So I go back to whatever I typed here. And I post it here. And like I said, I'll go back in and add more to that um, and update it in the team training. What I always put right here is right here on Facebook. And then you want to set your date to the 23rd. 7 p.m. You, I would say, um, right up here you have the option to create a private event or a public event. You always want to make this a private event because if you do public, then it's going to blast everybody's, um, every post that you make in the event is going to show up on everybody's newsfeed. And you don't want that because you're going to be mass posting. So you don't want to totally obliterate your friends Friday night with Posh if they don't want to see it. So Make it private, and then right here, make sure this is checked where it says guests can invite friends because you want the, your guests to be able to invite friends. You want to put in an end time. I'm going to put the 30th. I'll just leave the time. That doesn't make a big deal. And then you click create. Okay. And maybe Facebook will work with us and pull it up. Okay. So. Here is what it looks like. Right now, you're the only person going. Um, I strongly suggest you add an event photo. Um, I don't think that I have one for launch yet. Let's see what I have. Facebook banners. No, I don't have anything for fall, winter launch yet. So I'm just for right now going to put this welcome party. But I would update this to something regarding the fall winter launch. I've seen one that has like a horizon with the posh paper all blurred out and it says they're coming. That would be a cute one to use. Um, I'm sure Rihanna's probably posted some on Rockstar Graphics. If not, she will. Um, so we'll, we'll find some cute ones and post it there. So then that's it. Um, what I would do is I would start going through your customers and I would not initially click this button right here. What I would do is I would get on Facebook Messenger, text messaging, phone call, um, and contact your customers and let them know, hey, we're getting ready to launch 50 new products for our fall winter line. I know how much you love Posh. I'm going to be getting um, the inside details from Atlanta live, and I would love for you to join me that night and check everything out as it's introduced to us live. Um, if you're interested, let me know. I'll send you an invite to my event. Boom. So then they reply, yeah, I'm so interested. Send me an invite. Then you click this button, and then you invite your friends. But do not send mass invitations to your entire friends list. You don't want to do that. You want to shoot for anywhere from 15 to 50 guests. Um, you want your best customers to attend. You want them to be excited. You want them to bounce their excitement off of each other. You want them to interact with you. So by keeping your guest list minimal, you'll have more success. When you go and invite your entire friends list and somebody comes and they see 376 people invited, 10 are going, that gives the wrong impression. So you want to keep it small um, and send the personal private message or text message um, to those you want to extend an invitation to and then invite them as they say, yes, I would like an invitation. So um, if you have any questions on how to create a Facebook party, please leave your comments down below um, and we will set you up for success. I'm very excited to meet those of you who are going to be in Atlanta. Um, and like I said, 
uh, on the team page. Just those that, of you that cannot come to Atlanta, get prepared because you're going to feel like you're right there in the action. It is awesome. This is the first time I've ever been able to actually attend a, face, a Facebook a posh event, um, but I can tell you from years past, I've never felt left out, not once. I've always felt right there in the middle of all the action, and I, I intend to do that for all of you as well. So good luck. If you have any questions, let me know.